Hi, I'm Amanda Rowan, founder and head coach at the Therapist Development Center. If you're a first time viewer and looking to pass your social work or MFT licensing exam, or just interested in topics relevant to clinical social work and psychotherapy, you've come to the right place. If you like it, be sure to subscribe for updates. You can also sign up for our complete LMSW, LCSW, and MFT exam prep programs by going to our website at therapistdevelopmentcenter.com or clicking on our logo. Thanks. Today's topic, free MFT exam practice question, anxiety disorders. This week, our free MFT clinical exam practice question is going to focus on the topic of, of anxiety disorders. Most of us have worked with individuals diagnosed with some form of these DSM diagnoses. This will be extremely helpful during the exam. Most of us can also relate to having experienced anxiety here and there too. Regardless of how much or how little you already know about this subject, the Therapist Development Center's exam prep will ensure you know everything you need to correctly answer questions on this topic. How might this topic be tested? Whether you t- are taking the California MFT clinical exam or the national MFT exam, there are are several ways in which anxiety disorders could be tested. Questions on either exam could test your ability to diagnose anxiety disorders, differentiate anxiety disorders from other, from each other, develop an appropriate treatment plan, know expressions of diagnoses across the lifespan, Be familiar with various medications used to treat these disorders and be aware of proper referrals and coordination of care. Let's see how you do on this week's free MFT clinical exam practice question. A therapist meets with a 29-year-old software engineer. The client is diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder. In addition, he has a history of addiction to cocaine and alcohol. He states that he has been using these substances for the most of his 20s, but he was able to stop on his own early last year. He is not open to attending a 12-step program due to his perceived stigma associated with it. The client also states that his job can be very demanding and draining, and he is afraid of relapsing during periods of high stress and anxiety. As part of the treatment plan, the therapist should focus on A, helping the client develop alternative coping mechanisms to deal with stress and anxiety, expanding the client's understanding of cognitive, physiological, and behavioral components of anxiety and addiction, replacing fearful self-talk with realistic and empowering self-talk. B, identifying social supports available to the client, expanding the client's understanding of cognitive, physiological, and behavior components of anxiety and addiction, Replacing fearful self-talk with realistic, empowering self-talk. C. Evaluate client's motivation for treatment. Identifying situations, thoughts, and feelings associated with anxiety and cravings. Developing client's understanding of co-occurring mental health issues. D. Discussing professional consequences of client substance use. Identifying situations, thoughts, and feelings associated with anxiety and cravings. Developing Clients' Understanding of Co-Occurring Mental Health Issues. The best answer here is A. In the STEM, the client clearly expresses fear of relapsing during times of stress. Thus, developing alternative coping mechanisms as part of the treatment goal would directly address this concern. The other two goals fall in line with the client's diagnosis of generalized anxiety disorder and his noted history of addiction. Answer B could be tempting. However, there is no mention in the STEM regarding the presence of or lack of social supports. Plus, this answer does not directly address the fear of relapse expressed by this client. Answer C highlights evaluating client's motivation, which is not mentioned in the STEM as a concern. In fact, the client appears to be motivated. He does not mention resistance to therapy or a lack of motivation. This answer does not relate back to the information shared in the STEM, as do all components of answer A. The first part of answer D is an intervention, but we have to come up with goals based on the question that is asked. This answer, therefore, can be eliminated. 
Thank you so much for listening. Remember, if you're studying for your exam and looking for the best LMSW, LCSW, or MFT exam prep, please visit our website at therapistdevelopmentcenter.com to sign up. With a 95% pass rate, we offer the best study system on the market to help you pass your exam with confidence. Here at TDC, we're with you until you pass.